What's going on? This is Shang. This is Savage AF brought to you by the world famous Laugh Factory powered by Dash Radio. You know what I'm saying? Wait for y'all people to jump on. It's going to be a savage day. It's going to probably be a savage weekend. My weekday, my, my Friday already started off crazy. Riding my bike, everything was cool. Enjoying myself. Flat tire, bam, start wiggling. And I went, oh, ain't this a bitch? So flat tire, car got hit while I was in Target or where I was parked somewhere. And somebody hit and messed up my front of my car. So this is the beginning of the day. Uh, so uh, this is the beginning of the day. Uh, that's how it's going. But you know what? Even in all that, I'm not in the middle of a flood. I don't have COVID. And I'm um, not, uh, and uh, I'm still here. So uh, there he is. Yeah. I, yeah, man. Uh, like what? What about now? Oh shit! You kind of, you kind of yeah, breaking up on my end. Uh, oh shit! I don't know if y'all no, can, can hear you. me, but you kind of breaking up. On my, okay, you got me. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, no. Nah. Like you, you having a, a tough one, huh, bro? It, yeah, man, I, I was really having a, a good ride too. I'm, you know, I was a good ride. Everything was good. And bam. So um, I got to see what it is. I'm, I'm just, you know, I look at it this way, man. Shit ain't as bad as what other people are going through. So, oh yeah. Um, it could always so be I, I, you know, what I mean, but I got a flat tire on my bike. Woo You little yeah. bitch. Somebody, but somebody did hit my car though. Somebody hit my car and dented the front. Um, side, uh, the driver's side. While I was in, the, in uh, I was either in Target or so, I, I don't know which store I went into, but I came outside and I was like, oh, okay, somebody just going to smash my car. Okay, cool. All right. All right. That's and that's when the murdering that's starts. That's when Uncle Stabby gets to stabbing. That's uh, when the stabbing starts. Yesterday, day, two yeah, shows, yeah. two shows fall out. That one, this, Bam. that, pow. All right. mm. Yeah, it's uh, it, but it, president, it, life, fuck. Okay, done. Um, but no, seven days brought to you by Dad Factory Radio, powered by Dash. All right, I'm gonna uh, pin it call. up. Be careful driving, man. Don't. Are you driving? Well, I just I just parked, man. I uh, I got called. My uh, they moved my work shift up half an hour earlier, so I was like, we're gonna have to do this right outside the job, my nigga, because uh, I'm on at four o'clock. <laughs> So yeah, we gonna we gonna just gonna be a tight one today, tight and bright. Oh, I thought you. Yeah, no, yeah, I was so used. Yeah, so we gonna have to do it quick, quick, uh, quick and clean mercenaries. Hey, I gotta go to the trunk right quick. Hold on. No, no, don't do it. Don't do it. Savage AF brought to you by the world famous Laugh Factory, powered by Dash Radio. Make sure you check us out. On the podcast, on iTunes, Stitcher, Slacker, Google Play, iHeartRadio, Spotify, all of that shit. Make sure you subscribe, 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 okay? Um, you know, also, get us on Facebook. Facebook, 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 Facebook. Savage AF, okay? Make sure you do that, okay? Yeah, fucked up day so far, but uh, it is what it is. And I woke up late. I was up late uh, on with a uh, shout-out to Godfrey, you know what I mean? Uh so uh, I'm working on that, getting it together. Boom, pen, bam, boom, pen, pen. Okay, pen, damn. Pen, pen. Pent, pent, done. Damn, Dude, just got in the house. I, in fact, I, I put it on Facebook Live. I was like, yeah, this is a, yeah, this is a interesting day. It's one of, one of them days. Uh, let me one of them. It's one of them days. There you go. Tell when's the album dropping. Okay, tell them about it, y'all. Hey. I am I look beat. I, I look beat. I am beat. I'm beat up. Okay. Wow. Thanks. But thanks. Uh, thanks for the compliment. Uh, for uh, <laughs> Thanks, El Noop. Thank El you. I, I, see I look you. beat. Up, I am beat. Ms. I'm a beat up old man. I'm a beat up Ms. old Adver man. Miss Adverbs in the house. KC, pretty on the left and the right. JRNYC. We see you. JRA NYC. My bad. Uh, yeah, Canadians do tip at the job. The ones you got to look out is for them goddamn Australians from down under they, they, and the non tippingest motherfuckers in the world. Uh, yeah. But as soon as you hear that accent, you're like, I'm about to lose $13. God damn. Yeah. I'm they, paying, they I'm paying for your meal. You motherfucker. Um, you ain't going to tip. You son of a bitch. Son yeah. But no, um, I wanted to, I wanted to make sure you, you know, shout out, shout out to God for you. Also, again, the people that keep hitting me up, I'm telling you right now, again, 
In fact, let Paige will tell you. Um, and then we're going to do the run up, and then think. Yeah, we are uh, not. It will not be a show tomorrow. I know you've seen the flyers and stuff. There will not be a show tomorrow um, or September fourth. I know that both flyers. You know why I know because I did some of the flyers. <laughs> I know. I'm telling you, they ain't gonna be a show. So don't go there. Because if you go there, ain't gonna be Pedro's not gonna be there. I'm not gonna be there. It's not, so, not going to be there. It's, it's not, not going to be there. Is That's it. So we're going to give you the run-up of the bullshit, uh, the, last, um, the last evening of the run, uh, uh, the run uh, Lion C was on. Um, so was so, all right, so, so let, let's, retarded. Let's, 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 let's do the run-up. Let's do the daily run-up, Savage AF. Let's do the run-up. We're going to do the run-up. Powered by Dash Radio. We're going to end today's show uh, unwarranted. Some updates on the Jacob Blake story. Um, warehouse, Kenosha Sheriff. That's that's where Jacob Blake was shot. Uh, has a has a quite a nice racist past. So we we're gonna talk about that. Surprise, surprise. Uh, uh, surprise, contempt. surprise. Yeah, not only a racist past, but just uh, um, he seem he sounds kind of crazy. But yeah. we'll talk about it. Yeah. Uh, in contempt, uh, House Committee is beginning proceedings to hold uh, Secretary of State Mike Pompeo in contempt. Uh, for his non-cooperation to subpoenas. Um, but before we talk about that, we're going to talk about a reoccurring dream as thousands of people march on Washington, D.C., and Martin Luther King's only granddaughter uh, gives a speech in the same place her dad did, I mean, her grandfather did uh, decades ago. Um, but before we get into that, like you mentioned, Shang, right here, Savage AF, Laugh Factory Radio, Powered by Dash, Shanks doing Molly, get it in, dog, get it in. <laughs> yeah, wait till that shit kicks in. Hell yeah, nigga. Uh, we're gonna talk I'm doing about vitamins it. and fish oil. Hey, vitamins bro. and fish oil turned into Molly. Wow. Hey, that's it. Hey, man, if you do it right, you know what I'm saying? If you do it right. Uh, <laughs> uh, but check this out, y'all. Um, you got These check. are fish oil pills <laughs> with Molly. That's what we used to call them back in college, too. Fish oil pills. That's how we snuck them <laughs> in the party. Um, no, man, uh, check yourself, man. Your boy Trumpy Dumpty last night is, uh, you know, they said that he lied on average every three minutes during his more than hour long speech. I thought it was more than that. They said, you know, I'm sure he told a few back to backs and then maybe took a break for like four and a half and then told another. You know what I'm saying? So, but on average, every three minutes, you was going to hear a lie if you listen to. Uh, I feel like that was uh, I feel like that was better than the average rate of the overall convention itself. Uh, that being the Republican National Convention, which ended last night. But I feel like every thirteen seconds there was a lie, no matter who was on. You know, <laughs> no, no. They, you know what? The, the, I watched. In fact, I'm going to post it up. I watched the thing where they they fact checked him, and he's he, and then Anderson Cooper was like, he stopped to take a breath. He said, "That's it." And he said, no, no, I got about 20 more. And he literally rattled them off. He lied about this. He lied about the veterans. He lied about that. He lied about that. It was like, la, la. Mm, well, eh, eh, la, la. Mm, la. Eh, oh, oh, la, la. It just was la, 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 la. So, um, and I, I just think that was an, an overall kind of uh, theme for it. And I see JREMIC said, uh, wow, he's taking more time? Like, uh yeah, you, you, usually you would expect him to lie um, more often. But over an hour-long speech, that's a lot of lies, motherfucker. That's a, a, a whole lot of that's lies. A, you know? That's a hell of a lot. Uh, you this, know, and he still tries to claim a lot of shit that Obama already did or is part of the Obama era. Um, you know, it, it, it was... This is a pretty ridiculous week. Listen to motherfuckers. A lot of, the, a lot yeah, of black and people... Pence, Pence thinks because he says it in a calm demeanor that it's not bullshit and he says all these extra words and you know he adds it's, it's like damon wayans where he was saying all those words um and no he's not a wayan yeah uh, that's a, pedro yeah 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 but damon wayans when, when he played the convict that tried to use a lot of of, of pronunciation and, he, and that's what pence does but he does it in a calm way so everybody thinks what he's saying is is legit and it's fucking bullshit the other thing is with trump the fact that they they fact-checked him. He's still not going to believe it. But his followers said it's not about him lying. It's about him being against the people I'm against. Yeah. That's how they want to run the country. 
because mm-hmm. they're a bunch of bitches. And yeah. anybody out there that follows this dude, I told you, I've changed my whole way of thinking. And there's somebody had tagged me with this. There's, it's called uh, Blacks for Trump. At, at Black for Trump. Mm-hmm. These motherfuckers been mad as shit at me because I went in the paint on him. And yeah, about him uh, trying to, you know, basically, you know, get rid of the post office so he could win, maybe win, maybe win election. But fuck, he was lying. Heavy, heavy duty, dude. They yeah. said three minutes. I, it, it, it had to be less than that. I watched it. It had to be less than that. On average. On average. Like on I average. Said, you, you, By you, the way, you know, these are the, the, the best ones I just found out. Those are the edibles you're on right now? Cool, man. No, no. Get it in, bro. <laughs> Get it in, dog. Fuck it. It's Friday, man. They can't stop these me. Are, I have no edibles. These are uh, fish oil pills. It, when you get old. They call, they call those concentrates. That's what those are. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's true. That's that pure, pure. Uh, yeah, but, I mean, no, yeah, it's called Black, Miss Advert, Blacks for Trump or some shit like that. Somebody hit me with it. And, and then that, when they tagged them, of course, they saw the shit I said, and now they feel like they need to inbox me to change my mind. And I want to say to Blacks for Trump, okay, uh, you know what? How about coons for my cock? Fuck you, bitches. <laughs> so, sorry. I had to get that off my no, chest. That, that, that's what that is, man. Breezy JJs, we see you in the house. Uh, to hard. Quacks, cacks, cacks, Q A X. There we go. Hey, what's uh, up, Eve's Eve's Apple, Eve's Eve's Apple. Eve's underscore Apple, Apple in the building. Six. All your T-shirt needs, uh, not uh, not just a Savage AF T-shirt, but you should get an ad. Now, don't be average, be Savage T-shirt. Quit fuck around. But aside from that, other T-shirt needs you hit up Eve Eve's underscore Apple seventy nine sixteen. Oh damn! And get your damn. mask. Oh. Get your mask. See, that's the right other there. style, and this the one style. One, two, three, four. See? You see it, y'all. Don't be sad. Don't be average. Be savage, y'all. You know what it is. Don't be average. Uh, be savage. But um, just wanted to let y'all know. Um, other than my car getting hit, other than my bike going flat while I was riding, I was killing it. And all of a sudden, it went. Yikka, 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 yikka. I went. Ain't this a bitch? So, but I was thinking about what we're gonna talk about this today because we had to talk about the fucking fact that he lied constantly. And he was getting applause breaks, and it was, and also he did something illegal. I looked it up after I saw a couple of people pundits talk about it. You can't use the White House as a fucking prop, as a backdrop you're when you're running for election. You got to do that shit somewhere else. But fuck if he didn't do it. And if the Democrats don't use the Hatch Act on this bitch, the Democrats is a bunch of bitches. And I swear they should all be punched in their private parts over and over again until they vomit. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> there you go in. There. And that, you know, get three punches and that should happen. You buy the yeah. third punch, they should be. The Hatch Act is in full effect when it comes to this. It's yeah, not yeah, only no. pretending to his daughter getting all kind of patents and shit um, and over in China. Dog, and it's said, like. Literally, literally, she said last night that, and, you know, she gave one of them bullshit speeches too. But literally, Ivanka Trump, his daughter last night was like, you know, I thought my shoes were pretty. I thought they would sell. And, you know, nobody, nobody, we can't give them away. And. My dad was the only person to give me a job when nobody else w- would. Yeah, yeah, bitch, that's what we're talking about. Nep- it's called nepotism. That's, Not only that's, is that nepotism, that's... You weren't qualified you know, to sell your own goddamn shoes. <laughs> and then right, the president made you right. part and, of a governing cabinet of this administration. Get the fuck out of here. They say right, the and his, her, her husband, that day walker... If I ain't never seen a motherfucker, that motherfucker's a vampire. That but I don't mean a regular vampire. That motherfucker come out in sunlight and, and still turn into a... But he turned into a little bitch-ass bat. He turned it's into like, a little... It's like the, the... What was it called? Twilight? Nigga turned into dying. Yeah, where he's he glistening and, and shit. Nigga be he's a bitch-ass. He's a bitch-ass vampire. And he had the nerve to try to diss the NBA. You got a job because of nepotism, you unqualified cunty cunt bitch. Yeah, I like, like put he, my hands around your neck, squeeze till you can't breathe. He had the nerve to be sort of, uh, you know, kind of facetious and sarcastic where, you know, these NBA players are fortunate enough to be able to afford to take a day off. It's like, well, yeah, bitch, you, meanwhile, you out here forcing people who can't afford to take a day off to go to work. You goddamn slumlord, <laughs> poor bucket. Ass yeah, ass. he's definitely, like, yeah. Fucking, man, I hate this dude, dog. And I only, th- I only dropped that F-bomb never towards gay people, man, just towards people that I uh, hate. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> that's the old hood in me. No, yeah, so, yeah that's just. It, it's, uh, so, I never so, use that word so don't nobody get all up. Don't get your don't get your undies in a bunch, anybody. And uh, so 
I think that the main thing you got to look at with this situation is it's going to come down to like, I, and I saw Chris Cuomo give him bad props. It comes down to what you feel, not what it, you think. It comes down to what you feel and not facts. And and end of the day, that's what it's about. Basically, there are they are right now going off of well, I feel this. I'm racist. He's racist. Makes sense to me. I'll vote for him. He hasn't really accomplished the thing he said he's going to accomplish. Guess what? Still going to rock with him, even though he hasn't done half the shit he said. He ran on building a wall. Guess what? The wall was basically he refurbished some of the wall that was already there. That So he didn't build a wall. And in actuality, there's not many, maybe maybe 200 feet, if that. Mm -hmm. And that yeah. is not a wall that's going to stop. If there was Mexicans that wanted to come here, they're going to come here. Because the car ladders, bitch. We got yeah. ladders. We, we dig in tunnels, homie. We dig tunnels. We got ladders. None speaking, of that stops us. Speaking it's just of uh, stupid. standing up to the bullshit, man, and, and, and building walls, a, uh, a wall of a wall of people uh, marched on Washington today. Um, you know, led by Al Al Sharpton. Uh, was it the National Action Network? Nan. Nan. Uh, but uh, you know, you had like uh, the, the brothers of um, uh, George Floyd. Um, you know, the family of uh, Jacob Blake speaking, his father, his sisters. Um, but honestly, one thing that, that made me sad about this, even though it's a beautiful scene and, you know, it's, it's a historic moment, it, it was kind of sad for me to see uh, Martin Luther King Jr.'s only granddaughter, you know, up there speaking, uh, young black girl, black girl magic. Um, but the sad part is that all these years later, his granddaughter is up here speaking in the same place he was, you know, 50 something years ago, uh, fighting for the same shit. Like nothing is this, the, fighting when, for the when, same shit. When this, you have Martin Luther King yeah. Jr.'s granddaughter basically giving another I have a dream speech all over again that's that's relevant and necessary, it's like, God damn, man, like, like have, where have we gotten? Like, did we get any? 56 years later, uh, pretty on the left and right um, set. Yeah, 56 years later, we're basically dealing with the same shit. We're still dealing with police brutality. Um, and late, I know there's probably much, much more. It's just now we got cell phones, so they keep getting their pitch ass don't realize. You got an Apple phone, it's connected to Facebook or it's connected to YouTube. We got you. But even when we got you, we don't got you. Yeah. I don't Dr. get that. It's... Dr. Maxine said I was there. It was beautiful. And uh, I don't doubt that. And I'm glad you were there. You know what I'm saying? And it, it, like I said, it is a beautiful scene to see all those people come together. But it's also painful, I think, that we still have to do this, you know, that it is necessary. And I'm proud that we can organize like this. But um, yeah, it's like, God damn. Right, and somebody said they liked what Spike Lee had to say. I didn't see that part. I missed his, yeah. I missed that part. Yeah, I missed that part. I was, I was, I was riding on my bike. Couldn't watch it. Flat but I, I just, um, I think the main thing right now is that the fact that, and Jake Tapper asked asked about it too. What, and I thought that was cool. He said, "I get it. You, this is an important thing to do, but there's COVID still out there. So to have that many people out there." Yeah. Um, don't you think there's a possibility that, yeah. that, I mean, that you can get another spike in D.C.? And um, so it's made it even more sad. It's like, damn, the timing's fucked up. We can't go out and, and do it without the possibility of danger and continuing COVID. It's, it's a clusterfuck and hurricanes. What else? Oh, shit. Look out the window. Locust. You're at your yeah. job. Guess what? Samurais attack you. <laughs> Murder hornets. Sam yeah. Robot yeah. pit bulls. Yeah, yeah, like where the fuck did the robot pit bulls come from? Man. You go, you're go, you're driving home. Guess what? Jumps off a roof, ninja sword through yeah. your fucking car. You what is what's what's next? It's Medi like goddamn. Grab your shampoo. Meteor shower is coming. <laughs> Bam! Say, exactly. Like, all on your. There's all so. kind of wild shit going on, but we got to stay strong and stay, you know, stay, stay sane as we can. Stay and uh, you know, that's why when I I have little things like, oh, somebody hit my car. Uh, it's fucked up. I got to pay for it. But the bottom line is I feel like, okay, still ain't as bad off as some people. Oh, my tire went flat. It's a bike. Settle down. These people are fighting for justice for us. And what's fucked up when I heard about he was handcuffed to the bed or shackled to the bed is they know that he couldn't walk. And they still were like, you know what? 
Let me just insult the injury. Fuck you. Yeah. So we go, we go, we go, we go, and we're definitely gonna like end the show talking more about uh, you know the the Jacob Blake updates. Um, yep. For sure. Everyone, uh, Doctor Maxine said everyone had on masks in the crowd. Uh, I saw, you know, I did, I did notice a lot of masks, but I saw like Al Sharpton himself. You know, he didn't have on a mask while other people were talking, and you know, a lot of people around him did have on masks. But I was just like, ah. Uh, even in this time, I'm like, yeah, that's too many people for me. <laughs> I ain't doing yeah, that. Little, we gonna, that's we a gonna, little, little bark close quarters. Right here from IG Live in my driver's seat um, and, and, get, and get that voice out there. So spread it. Tell your friends about Savage AF, Laugh Factory Radio, powered by Dash. We're here on IG Live Monday through Friday. Mondays and Friday, 3 p.m. Pacific time, Tuesday through Thursday, 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, guys. Also follow the uh, podcast wherever you get your podcast. Savage AF is the title. Wow. Um, so speaking of titles, a guy named Mike Pompeo carries one. It's a uh, secretary of state. Um, and in general, they, they stay neutral in terms of politics, but, but this bitch ass from Jerusalem going to do a speech. Eat a yeah. dick. When right. I see you on these streets, Mike Pompeo, and I know you watch the show, you know what the fuck's up. When I see you on the streets, Mike, Mike Pompeo, we don't you know get that money I'm going to give you the Pompeo, I'm going to Pompeo you. Uh, so, uh, repre <laughs> representative, uh, Elliot Engel from New York, uh, Democrat, uh, has, uh, you know, set forth a committee to uh, basically hold Mike Pompeo in contempt. Uh, this is in regards to subpoenas regarding records um, to an investigation um, into his possible misuse of, of funds for political reasons. Um, right. So obviously this would be a problem if, if the uh, Secretary of State was you know is not he, he's out, he's obviously politicized himself and and his his department but um you know if he's misusing funds um for political reasons you know this this has to do with foreign policy you know uh, right everything to domestic to foreign policy so um you know this is important but this is what this administration does right they just ignore like you say they're corrupt subpoena. as fuck you say subpoena you got to bring your ass to court they're like fuck court <laughs> and then they yeah. just don't show up and they're like I ain't come to court and but this time I hope anything. they hold him in because I think that they, they thought after he politicized this fucking you know using Jerusalem as a backdrop what kind of bitch ass shit is that but it didn't make a lot of people feel good a lot of the even Republicans said oh this is some bullshit so I think that this time with the subpoena, they're going to go full blast and definitely make sure he pays attention because of his total cockiness. It's like, yo, not this time, motherfucker. But at the end of the day, everybody around Trump's getting the fucking arrested, uh, uh, contempt. Uh, you know what I'm saying? He's, I know he got pardons to hand out, but fuck. I mean, somebody said he might even pardon the kid that shot two people and injured one. He's like, yeah, you know what? He was, he was shooting for us, so pardon. And the thing is, he has the power to do that. I don't know if he has the power to do that pertaining to murder, but he pardoned some pretty bad people. He pardoned that fucking that that um, dude from the army that killed a bunch of people, so he can get away the, with it. The Navy SEAL, uh, the Navy SEAL, yeah. So and they and even the other people were like, "That's a bad dude." The other Navy SEALs are like, "Not not a bad dude. Like he's a tough guy, but no, he's a fucking horrible human being, and he did horrible shit, and he." He pardoned him, so I can see him pardoning this kid. Nothing is out of the realm of reality with this fucking president and everybody around him. And Pompeo is the most cocky. I hate this motherfucker. I hate him equally. I hate him. I think it would be Trump, Barr, then him, and then Satan. I don't even hate Satan as yeah, much as I hate these motherfuckers. Even you. Satan goes, God damn, y'all, y'all going hard to pay. I ain't even think I, about I didn't that. Even think of that. Yeah. I was I mean I was gonna do that, but as Satan, I was like, God damn, you guys are good. Fuck. Donnie, I mean it's Donnie B, crazy. I see you in the building. What's up from Bermuda? Uh, she said, What happened to checks and balances? Well, I it looks like all these checks bounced. <laughs> uh they were <laughs> written uh poorly and they fucking bounced. Um so yeah, we, we have none of that anymore. Like these people ignore the subpoenas, uh, you know, they you know, he pardoned motherfuckers who shouldn't be pardoned. Uh, the Justice Department, the Injustice Department oh, led by William cool. Below the Bar. Uh, you know, they, you know, they, they, you know, what do you call it? Pardon his number, people. His, they, his number one guy, wait, one of his number one guys is now in jail. 
number number his number one of his number two guys. Guess what? He's about to go to. They got him, and there's nothing he can do. <laughs> Ooh, I, uh, on, on Trumpy Dumpty's last day, though, I think it's gonna be like that that Oprah episode where he uh, where she gave away all them Pontiacs. <laughs> like, you get a pardon, you get a pardon, <laughs> everybody gets a pardon. And then he's gonna try to pardon himself, himself and it yeah. ain't gonna work. <laughs> I get one too. Um, but you know, this is something to keep an eye on. Uh, the the House Democrats are are you know you know trying to do something. So like, yeah, he's ignored the subpoena, so now they're you know holding him in, in contempt. Uh, I think they just need to hold him uh, in a cell. <laughs> we just right. You know, How about holding like some of these people in a cell? Now, now, what's the guy uh, that is a Breitbart guy? Mm. He I'm, just got arrested a week ago. Uh, oh, you're talking about um, Bannon? Damn! You're talking about Bannon, right? Is Steve it Steve Bannon? Bannon? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Steve Bannon got arrested. Um, you think about how many people got arrested. He walked back out, to back. out hours later, though, like, <laughs> like Nino Brown and this motherfucker. You know, he was like, hey, yeah. I'm a man of the people. So, uh, yeah, he, he, he walked out uh, quite quickly. But, yeah, he's, he's also, you know, under fire and, and you know, the, the heat's on him. But, yeah, you know, but you I want, think you want that in his situation, there's nothing he can do. They got him. This is interesting. Like, I, I, I don't recall an administration where so many, like, active – you know, executives in the administration are like either under investigation um, or have been arrested and gone to jail. I mean, it, this shit is just like, it's pretty fucking ridiculous. Yet the Democratic Party is the one, is the party of chaos, right? Like, <laughs> we're the ones that want to send, you know, uh, guerrilla Negroes out to each old, you know, white snowflake babies. Like, that that's what they want <laughs> you to believe. But Really, it's it's these guys, these these yeah, white, it's these white guys, guys and the people, the European American yeah. guys, the people they back, white nationalists. I mean, all this other stuff. The people that they keep giving a you know pass to, and um, acting like this doesn't exist when it comes to the court system. It acts like none of the rules exist, and then they want you to pay attention to all the rules. Fuck that. That it's gonna come to the point where I mean, especially the way they're going so hard to paint on us in the streets. That I do think somebody said this and people was like, no, that couldn't possibly happen. All this other crazy shit happened. We've seen it in the streets. You don't think it could be a civil war? And I know that people think, what's well, going to be black against white? No, it's going to be, uh, it's going, I think it's going to be a mix of people against the white power structure. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's going to be, and, and also some white friends groups are been waiting to, they've been waiting to knock heads and get down. So, and that's why I'm 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 really thinking that the black yeah. what is it called the the uh, don't now fuck around me. coalition is actually actually I'm, I'm I'm starting to hear that they're 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 not so righteous or I, I got to do more research into them but the concept is great the um, concept is great and yeah, maybe we need uh, some of the people that will stick within the concept to you know get us <laughs> hold us down because what other thing man other than Ger what's between us and chaos other than Gertrude I mean what makes us not safe at night other than Pedro and Gertrude and soon Bruce. Bruce is on his way. But, uh, well, I know one thing that definitely makes us not safe is, uh, you know, cracker-minded honky monkeys like the uh, sheriff of Kenosha County. Uh, yeah, David that Depp, breaks his time. David Jesus Depp, Christ. Uh, who, it's, it's coming out that in the past, uh, he, has, he has called for black stop business. Black shoplifters to be warehoused. Uh, uh, there's another quote over here, warehoused. Um, uh, he said, and this is, quote, these people have to be warehoused. We put them away for the rest of their lives so the rest of us can be better. Now, that's, that's for some Negroes who, uh, they were ages 16 to 23, about five of them, shoplifted about $5,000 worth of items, uh, went on a little car trace, got into an accident, whatever. All right, you know, yeah, right. Nigger, they should be shit, warehouse. Don't do that shit. They should be, but warehouse, warehouse. The rest of your life to make what life better for for him and the rest of us. Who's us? Because I don't think like this, buddy. Um, but uh, and, and meanwhile, in in his county, uh, you know, you've got uh, little Kyle killing clan redneck KKK teenager running around blasting people's heads and arms off. Um, you know, but he he wants to warehouse 
shoplift. Right. This is the same and, guy uh, who said, I believe it's the same guy who said that they shouldn't be, you know, that all these people were breaking curfew and uh, shouldn't have been out in the first place. But yeah, it's just all cornball shit. We already know the situation. And even if we're going to talk about it at the end, but Taylor, Taylor 1980 said, we are there. Open your eyes. History is repeating itself. There you go. Um, I agree with you. I think history is repeating itself. But I'm saying I'm talking about a flat out civil war because I'm, talk I'm not talking about a civil war metaphorically. I'm talking about actual physical gunplay, the whole nine, because there's got to be a point where they can't just keep just killing us. What else else going? Yo, man, fuck that. We got guns, too, now. And if you want pop off, we got it's got to come down to you want pop off. Let's pop off. I mean, what are you supposed to do? Sit there and let them kill your kids. Sit them, let them shoot your like. If you got a gun and somebody's trying to shoot your kid in the back seven times for no reason, nobody said why he was arrested. They're asking, saying that he was arrested for resisting arrest. What is going on? <laughs> what was the reason that you were arresting him? You let him walk around the car. You tackled him and you wrestled him. It didn't work out, but you let him stand up and walk around the car. He walked around the car calm as fuck. So it wasn't like, yeah, man, I stole jewels. No. We're going to get there, Shane. We're going to get there. But let's stay on this cracker-minded sheriff first. <laughs> okay. Kenosha County, David Beth. We're going we gonna to get to Jacob Clark. Trust me. We're going. We're going to end the show with that. Um, but. You know, I, I see Kane, Kane Garlene uh, call for it. Like, they need to fire him, right? Um, but, it, you know, it's like when we talk about systemic racism, when we talk about uh, the 2013 FBI report that uh, revealed that our, you know, most urban police forces are rampant with KKK, white supremacists, and Nazis. Um, you know, this is it. This is what we see, right? Like, this is a this is that guy, right? He's he's the sheriff of Kenosha County, where a black man has been shot in the back seven times on film, and we all seen it. And he has this past of an ideology that oh, we should lock people away for the rest of their lives for shoplifting, not condoning shoplifting at all or breaking the law in any way, but the notion that somebody should be warehoused okay warehouses for are for inanimate objects things that are not alive things that don't breathe air right yeah you put you put old photos and goddamn you know tires and shit in a warehouse you know you put the, the raiders of the lost ark that you know that shit you know ancient artifacts right you know, but you know goddamn, what i I'm sick of the not media. People. I'm, I'm, I'm being honest with you. I'm sick of the media. I'm sick of, I'm sick of these motherfuckers. I think there's a couple shows that call it like it is and say what it is. As soon as they saw that fucking video of that motherfucker saying that, it should be a rap. It shouldn't be like, well, you changed. He changed. No, fuck that. You said that shit. That's a fucked up way to think. We can't have you as sheriff. Bye bye, bitch. Bye. And we, yet we, 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 well, let's think about, let's put, oh, look, what about other thought process, another, look at it, another angle. No, he wanted to warehouse people. And the way he said it, they, us, it's all fucking, we already know. We know the dog whistles. We know what the fuck's going on. We know what he's saying. So in turn, but he don't want that for little white kids that shoot people, like flat out murderers in the street. So fuck them. This is, fuck him. And the media don't say he should be fired. It's, every time you mention it, it be every time you mention this bitch ass motherfucker's name, it should be. And first off, let's start off. He should be fired. Then his name. I mean, we have with we Trump. Have. It should be first off before you even say President Trump, our liar, the person that pathologically lies constantly. President Trump. He's not even it president. Should, he's not even President Trump. He has impeached President Trump. He's and impeached that, President. Thank you. Yeah, that, that is we, great. We, we every single time, on, our impeached time. president. Period. Mm -hmm. Every That's fucking it. time he says something. Every time he says it. But, and somebody said it's a waste of time. I can't see. It's, it's scrolling kind of fast. Uh, blacks haven't failed the world. Do you know a race that has? You no. Know? Mm. 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 Let me think about mm. that. Mm. Mm. Let's get back A1, to one A1, saucy, we'll get, uh, underscore, we'll at. To, Yeah, we'll get back to you on that. I can't. I we'll can't get back to you of, on that. But I, think I, could, I could point to a few. But, yeah, I mean, yes. If you look at it, I was going to say this today. I've been wanting to say this. The cause of most of the bullshit in the world is because of European Americans. Not all of it, but there's a very good chunk, especially in America, of all of the fuckery and the bullshit. Don't get me wrong, European Americans have done some amazing things, but the fuckery that's going on, the racism that's going on, it's not white people, black people, it's 
white people, everybody, everybody, everybody else got to go. It's not because yeah, they go at the everybody, like Latinos, uh, they're rapists and, 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 you know, maybe there's some good, good ones, all that other shit. It's not just that they're against everybody. And I want to know from anybody that happens to be Caucasian or Caucasoid or European American or pigmently challenged. I want to ask you something. What are you so afraid of? Why can't you just be a fucking person? And if you're a good, if you're good at what you're at, good at, don't cheat. Fucking rock straight up. You can't do that because <laughs> you got bitch in you. Lots of bitch in you. Lots of bitchity oh, ass bitch in you. Yes, sir. Bitch. Well, so, and, and, you know, when we talk about bitch in them, it, it's obviously uh, Sheriff David Beth of Kenosha County, what, uh, Wisconsin. But, uh, they, um, you know, if you wonder why his deputies are out here, you know, fraternizing and, and buddying up with, you know, the, the cracker minded honky monkeys who are carrying guns and shooting people, shooting protesters, um, it, th this shit comes from the top. So you see, he's cracker minded, and that's why all of his deputies are below him the same. They're way. all like passing that. out water, passing out water to vigilantes. <clears throat> Wow, wow, I can't take it no more. I can't take it. It's making me crazy. <laughs> you got a filter on? That's amazing. It's making me crazy. I see. I can't it. take it no more. This shit is hey, got to stop. It that's got production to stop. value. <laughs> that's production value right there. Go ahead, Doug. I appreciate that. Sorry Saturday about that. F, Laugh Factory Radio. Power Sorry. Dash. I lost it for yeah, a second. I, I get it. No, I get it. I see. I see what happened. I see what happened, dog. And it, it, you know, it happens to the best of us and the rest of us, man. Uh, so. <laughs> So don't even trip. Um, so Savage AF, Laugh Factor Radio, powered by Dash. Uh, make sure you tell a friend about this, guys. We're like drugs. You can't do too much. You got to pass. Pass it around. Right. Share this shit. Tell all your friends. Follow at Savage AF Radio. All right? That's yes. the handle for the show. Make sure you follow the man upstairs. Make sure you follow at Black Pedro. Also yeah. follow. And make sure you check, check the website out. Um, I am Shank.com backslash merch. Uh, Savage A. AF masks, we got masks, T-shirts, everything. Thank you guys for the ones that you have purchased. We appreciate you. Also, there was another person that hit me up, Sherry Williams. I will make sure the site is updated pertaining to the mask. Thank you for pointing that out for me. Yeah. Probably was up late, not working, not knowing, seeing what I did, and one of the links didn't work. It will be fixed today. Um, just, so you, just so you know. That's uh, when the fish oil kicks in. <laughs> Yeah, he said. So that's once these, once those fish oil kicks in, I'm smooth like that. You know, you don't want none. I would. That's what happens. I'll be yeah. like a fish. Oh shit! Yeah, it's starting to kick in, dog. I think you okay, took I'm so much. Now. It's affecting me, man. Fuck. Uh, <laughs> Savage AF. <laughs> powered. You've been by... smoking, so that would probably freak you out a little bit. The fuck is Shane doing? Uh, powered by Dash, y'all. Unwarranted, man. We already know that. Absolutely the, uh, unwarranted. The way uh, Brother Jacob Blake was treated was unwarranted, no matter the situation. And, and like we talked about yesterday, you, we saw them building up this argument, you know what I mean, of, you know, somebody was calling about, uh, you know, a violation of a, uh, somebody called Let him know. A, violation I a, a, a violation of a restraining order. And, you know, we weren't sure if he was the guy who was supposed to be there or not or wasn't supposed to be or whatever. <laughs> So, you know, now it's it's coming out that he, he had some warrants, right? Um, and apparently felony warrants. And so their whole thing is that, you know, anybody anybody with these felony warrants would have been treated this way. I'm like, really? Shot in the back seven times? Uh, they, they're also saying that he had a weapon. He, he, he did have a knife, you know, even though, you know, none of the eyewitnesses or the camera couldn't quite see it. Um, so, like we said yesterday, they're, they're, they're going ahead and building that narrative um, and, and, and letting us know, you know, just trying to build that idea in our head and, and plant that seed that everything they did was justified somehow, that, that somehow right. there was a reason for them to shoot him in the back. Seven times, and I say them, but it's, it, it's one officer, Rustin Shesky, but, you know, they, they want you to uh, believe that shit, that there is some reason that he got shot in the back other than honky monkeys. Right. So they're saying that he has, uh, he has felony warrants out. That, that's why they handcuffed his paralyzed ankle 
to the bed because he's a he's a flight risk. <laughs> You've just paralyzed this nigga, dog, and you gonna you gonna handcuff you gonna ankle cuff this nigga, and he's paralyzed. Yeah, that that that's you know. I don't I'm know. That's like putting it. I'm I'm swinging on somebody. <laughs> like I know, I'm, man. That's I'm, that's I'm putting it. Slapping somebody. Somebody's getting somebody's getting savaged. I, I mean, why don't you just put straight jackets on? Motherfuckers ain't got no arms. That don't make sense. It's just silly. But I didn't know that he had um, felony warrants. But why didn't they say that from get go? So what? That that's not even why he was on. That's not why the cops were on the scene. They they weren't on the scene for his felony warrants. That you know that's the shit they discover later when they dig for a reason to do what the fuck they did. Yeah, Miss Adverb, he don't have wings. He ain't no X Man. This nigga ain't about to about to fucking night crawler the fuck in and out of the <laughs> like. No, he's not gonna do that shit. The old puff of smoke ass nigga. Like no, that's a regular dude. You put seven bullets in his fucking back and sever his spinal cord. Right. You, there's no need to. You 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 you've handcuffed his ability to walk completely. Yeah, but but, like, but the, the thing is, you, it's what the like... What you chaining him to a bed for? What is, what is the reasoning, what is the thought process with the cops, even with that? If that's the case, then they should be blasting white dudes with, uh, uh, that are armed with uh, felony you know, felonies and outstanding felonies, and they've had AR-15s and didn't blast on none of them. Yeah. It is sounds like... like uh, Donnie B says it sounds like bullshit to me, but if he does have a felony, um, you know, people feel like that justifies it. That justifies it. It's like, no, take him in, tackling, take him in, and do what you got to do. But and that, that's what, yeah, and you know, yeah, Miss Adverb, I think if he was an X Men, they would think his name was Helium or some shit, like just, you know, float out the room. Some shit like that, but uh, yeah, I mean, obviously, it, and then, but this does let America it, it, it gives America that room to say, We'll see, we'll see. They had a re I mean, he was dangerous, he had felonies. I mean, you know, like he had warrants. I mean, nigga, you could have warrants for goddamn parking tickets, you know what I'm saying? It, it could be a felony warrant for a white collar crime, like it could be some credit card fraud or some shit. Some non yeah, it could be. I, yeah, I, I but didn't it, even do the research not, to find out what the felony was. Because I don't. Yeah, but also, I don't, what the warrants were. I don't give a fuck. Like I don't care what the warrants were for. Like that's not how you do it. You are a coward if you shoot a man in his back once. Uh, you're seven let alone times seven times. Yeah, let alone seven times. And the thing is, he's not. It's not like he was wanted for murder. It wasn't. And Donnie B. Simpson, he didn't shoot or kill anybody. He wasn't wanted for murder. He wasn't wanted for. Something that was so heinous that they're like, oh, child trafficking, and he's fucking babies in the ass, and that's why we got to, none of, nothing like that. So the main thing is, I think that they're going to come up with any excuse, just like they came up with excuses. Um, when you come to Georgia, came up with every excuse under the book to be like, well, you know what? These good old boys was just out there doing what good old boys do. Huh? Yeah. Shoot niggers. Come on, man. You already know it. Yep, man. So that's the game, you know. They they basically, you know, uh, you know, yeah. We are we are game to them, uh, you know. We are. Yeah, and, I'm and, looking uh, back. To, my son got his dog here. And what I do you want, dog? Somebody, uh, I can't remember who said it, but you know, they re they referred to us as an endangered species. It might have been Robert Ory, uh, who had a you know a powerful moment uh, on on his Fox Sport broadcast. There you go. Who's that? Look at that little spunky poo. There's that some little... there's some coons in this house. There's some coons in this house. He looks wise. He looks wise for his age. I like that. Whose dog is that, man? Uh, that? Cam's mom's. Okay, there you go. I see it. Um, I just busted his head. There you go. All right, he'll be fine. All right, fine. you know you know I am with dogs. Yeah, uh, but yeah, I, I, I've seen uh, the comments. A one saucy app. We've been there. We've been at war. Uh, that that's definitely uh, what this is for us here in America. I, you know, I was telling some friends last night, some white friends. I, you know, I, I do know some good white folk, <laughs> and uh, I was like, listen, I encourage you all to get guns too, because they were a little shocked that I was, you know, talking about weapons and I have weapons. And they were like, what? And I was like, listen, <laughs> you 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 good white folk better get some weapons too, because 
uh, y'all gonna get killed for being what they call nigga lovers. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> that's, you, know, they, you can't they, be a nigga lover. Yeah, well, I, I'm not trying to tell you, but a nigga lover will get you some shot. Nigga loving Jews. That's what they are. Some nigga loving Jews. That's what they do. <laughs> nigga, if you don't take them hearts off. <laughs> I, no, I'm trying up. to nigga, cut it off. You got snowflakes. No, there's six of us. God damn God it. God damn. Um, but yeah, man, you know, this This is everybody dead. <laughs> Stop it, Dad! This nigga done found features and shit. Stay focused, Shane. Stay focused. I know. I'm trying to cut it off. There, I got it. I was trying to cut them off. It kept. They kept. (laughs) Just like God. (laughs) So Jr. and Y. Z. There's some coons in this house. There's some coons in this house. No, you know what the thing is. I think with Jacob Blake, and I'm gonna definitely do some of the research. I think that with Jacob Blake is the main thing is they're gonna find whatever they can, even when it's not. And especially if you got a person like you, you know, they shot a person in his living room. A cop shot a person in his living room. Now, she did get the t- some time. I don't think she got the amount of time she should have got, but she did get some time. And I still think they tried to say, well, he had a joint in his kitchen. Bob Probably an international weed seller. You know, so anyway, it goes with us. They're going to make up some shit. So whatever he did, we'll do the research. We might talk about it Monday. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. They're going to come up with shit for us any way it goes. So we got to start being in fucking warrior mode like they are. I just feel like that. I know it's fucked up, but, man, when I see some of the shit that's going down, what other – I bet you they'd be in warrior mode. I bet you they, they already are, but I bet you they'd be. If we were doing that to them, they'd be like, we got to t- we got to fight back. Uh, Clue, Clue Head Pro said if Trump reelected, <laughs> every black man uh, and woman needs to get get a gun or guns. Uh, bruh, it ain't even got nothing to do with Trump. Cause I was saying it even before, like as soon as he got elected the first time, I was like, he ain't really the problem. It's all the motherfuckers who voted for him, all of his supporters. So whether he gets reelected or not, those honky monkeys, those cracker minded Jack donkeys are still going to be here and they will be your problem, right? Like Donald Trump right. ain't the one who's going to come to your door. He ain't going to Even if Trump to loses. Even, to let you. Yeah. Like, it's one, not, it's even not, if Trump loses, he's not going anywhere. He's definitely going to start some kind of TV show or some reality show of him. And he's going to say he didn't lose, even if he loses by a massive amount. And his people are going to still be there. They're still going to have that mentality. If In fact, they'll be more disgruntled. So we got to we gotta make sure, no, one, he has to lose by like at least three to four million minimum. He's got to lose by that. And he has to lose the electoral vote, even though electoral vote is some racist fucking archaic bullshit that they use basically to stop black people from voting. And there's a lot of other reasons for the electoral vote. How the fuck does Wyoming get the same amount of, you know, delegates as what the fuck? Right. Uh, I'm sorry. I get that. They, they get the same amount of delegates as California and California got dwarfs Wyoming dwarfs it. You could put a bunch of Wyoming's in Fresno. Like, yeah, in terms of population, for sure, bro. Yeah. Like, that's what it is, man. So, um, but, you know, we, 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 we're we here, guys. We, we see the games that they play. Uh, we see how they spin the story. I see you, Miss Adverb. You know, she's saying, like, you know, had Brianna survived, they would have locked her up in a, a padded room and called her, you know, a, a drug mule for El Chapo, a queen pin of, of cocaina or some shit. You know what I mean? Like, they're always spinning narratives to make the victim the threat. Right. Yeah. Um, and and that, and that's that's just what that is. So when this language gets spewed out, you know, it's not it's not just Trumpy Dumpty uh, uh, and others like that saying it. But the real problem is all the monkey minded um, moon hippies who fucking believe that shit. You know, what I'm seeing the the hillbilly toothless goat lickers like they wow they they, they, goat suck, that up. they suck it up. They just suck in that shit. And they go, like, see, I told you. I, I, I knew told it, you. Man. I knew it the whole I knew it. Downtown. I tried to tell them, but they didn't want to listen to me. I told them, all niggers are corrupt. Now, now, yes, we sell, we steal a bunch of stuff. Yeah, but we're different when we steal. It's it's right. not stealing. It's not so the same. Let's, let's talk about this, because uh, I, I saw a post from Miss Adverb recently, and uh, she's expressing it now here again, I think. Uh, we need to make racists afraid again end of story and i saw a post she put up earlier that was like it was kind of like uh we should have made him we messed up by not making an example out of george zimmerman yeah wow 
And that that you know sounds like what it sounds like, but it is what it is, bro. Like, you know, at some point there is gonna have to be some fear. It's like this accountability thing, right? Where that's why cops do this because it's like Van Jones said, if if, if there's if the train the training doesn't matter if there's no accountability when they break the training, right? So right. Um, if we don't hold these people accountable and if the system doesn't hold them accountable, right? Then, then what is the next step, right? And I'm, you know, it, it, it's hard to talk like this, but the feelings are real, right? Like, at some point, you feel like you got to get justice, right? Like, and part of it, I do believe, is that yeah, man, like, like George Zimmerman walks around free now, and maybe he gets threats and is scared and doesn't live as comfortably. But Trayvon Martin is, is you know, he died a teenager, bro. Like he never right. got to vote or buy a alcoholic drink legally, or I don't even know if the kid has sex. You know what I mean? Like, what the fuck? He has. Like, a, he he didn't get a chance. And also, if you look at all, an, an eight year old, uh, an eleven year old, body slamming kids, the stuff they do. Like I told you, shooting point blank, shooting a, a young eight year old girl because she's on her father's shoulders at a, a protest. Not protest. Not them being a rioter or aggressive he just walked up to her and blasted her it's just like our lives don't matter so we got to make them feel like their lives don't matter and some people say that how can, how dare you do that what other way do you get to these motherfuckers we try and being nice hey let's work together you didn't get the lyrics to kumbaya i sent them to you i sent you the kumbaya lyrics oh you don't want to sing those you want to sing kill kill them all that's what you want to say kumbaya is what they want yeah say. it's kumbaya. like yeah so it's enough there's, uh, they say no justice, no peace. But I mean, what? I if you if you guys got the answers, tell me. But yeah, what? Like, you know, yeah, I'm not endorsing people go out and 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 do vigilante justice. But I be thinking about that shit. You know what I mean? Like, I have definitely thought, like, man, somebody needs to go get George Zimmerman. Like, somebody needs to go get him. Like, like the the McCluskey clan that that killed Ahmaud Arbery. Like, if they don't go down. And even them, what if they get, I mean, obviously, we don't know if they're going to get off, but they could get off. And it's, and there's so many situations where they got, the, the cops have got off. It's almost constantly smacking us in the face. And it's going to be, eventually, you're going to smack some of us in the face the wrong way. And we're going to gut punch you. And then when you go down, we're going to knee you. And while you're down, when you knee, I'm going to take you, I'm going to grab your neck, put your face on the cement and, and, and curb you. I mean, that's, there's some people that are going to start feeling that way, and then everything will be chaos, and then it'll be all our fault. It's like, how many, even if you beat a dog, and even if you're a little dog, after a while, he's going to bite you. That's it. Yeah. And, and so, so I don't want the people to think that Savage AF is con condoning violence. Now, I ready. am. But listen, <laughs> listen, I mean, listen, this is, I'm looking at the feed here, and I'm, I haven't seen one person that's like, we need to pray. You know what I mean? Like, Motherfuckers are mad, right? So I think this is what we ultimately need to recognize is this rage and to be able to um, productively direct it towards something uh, positive, towards some kind of gain, right? Um, because as individuals, I don't want any of y'all going out here and bang, banging on them because that, that, that's not going to actually get you what you need, right? And it, it won't actually bring the people that we lost back. Um, but we do need to take some measures that say we're not doing this anymore. So a natural thought is to, yes, clap right back at them. So right. I, guess I, mean, I just want to recognize everybody's uh, pain, anger, mm -hmm. and rage out there. Say, I feel it too. I feel it too. We all feel it. And you are not crazy for feeling this way. So on top of all of that don't don't let anybody make you feel like you're crazy for for feeling this way because these are absolutely valid feelings that we all have and we can see it here on this timeline right the savage jf family i mean that that yeah we say it all the time y'all y'all niggas are more way more savage than me and shang are i consider myself a gentleman some of y'all motherfuckers are are wild buffaloes out here yeah <laughs> see people saying violence should be met with yeah. violence because yeah. but, like, like every time we've reached we out our hand that. And yeah, no, we, every time we reach out our hand and say, hey, you know what, let's try the court system. Let's try it this way. Talk to us. Talk to us. Treat me like a human being. It doesn't happen. 
Um, if you look at George Floyd's situation, he was like, you know, just let me sit up. Just let me sit up. You got me. Let me sit up. And it was none. No, fuck you. You're not. You're an animal. Um, kind of at attitude. And even you wouldn't treat. They don't even treat animals that way. They don't treat animals that way. Um, you know, I've seen them out there, you know, jump in the water and save a deer. And then they get flung, they, the water rushes them down over a cliff. But they'll do that for them. <laughs> <laughs> what the Baby! Fuck? I got her! And she's gone. But no, that's the case, man. So Savage AF here brought to you by the world famous Laugh Factory, powered by Dash Radio. We are getting close to the end. Uh, Pedro, uh, we're getting, yes, we're getting close to the it, the, close to the edge. All you Don't people out me. there, make sure you check out, follow at Black Pedro. Make sure you follow him. Also, make sure that you check us out. We want you to have a good weekend this weekend. Even in the midst of chaos, try to laugh and smile and, and have a good time as best you can. Also, eat some edibles, smile, laugh Man. your ass off while you watch cartoons. Do something else. Chris Get Dorner some used all legal way. avenues. Yeah, well, Chris Dorner. Maybe we need to, you know, continue some of the shit that's going on that way. Yeah, I mean, um, you know, it, it, and, and that's something I always preach is, you know, exhaust the system to its fullest, but be prepared to work outside of it uh, when, as, as we're seeing now. The shit when it's, when it's time. Yeah, the shit is hitting. Also, the yes, and have some fish oil. I know y'all make fun of me, but I did read that this is actually good for you. Maybe it's wrong. I'm wrong, but I bought a whole bunch. That's where I just came from my bike ride. And y'all can make fun, but I'm trying to, I got dropped 745 pounds. I weigh 4,798 pounds. Um, and back, so, silverback silver range over there. <laughs> no, um, no, but no, I, you know, for my height, I, I still, I want to get down. By the time I get back out of this shit, I want to be like stealthy. I want to be Spider-Man. That's where I want to be. So um, we want to let you know, yeah, this weekend. But what, this weekend, okay, fish oil broke your bike. You know what, Miss Adverb? Uh, you know what? You know what? You know what so broke easy. your? You know what broke that's your vagina? Your vibrator. Shut up. Hey, that's a good vagina, though. Yeah, that's a good. That's a good vagina. Oh. It's, it's, yeah. I know. You know messing around. The vibrator. Y'all, can't some hang. of y'all in, in y'all feelings. Y'all acting like low. Y'all acting like y'all got bitch oil on. Y'all yeah. wearing bitch oil? Cause ain't nobody. <laughs> come on, I'm joking. Ain't nobody. <laughs> and apparently, apparently Pedro took some acid. Um, hey, he's, you know what it is. I'm you're doing, doing all this. You're talking about my effect. I, got, I gotta go. I gotta. I gotta get to this job, y'all. So you know, we on the move. Gotta right? get into the job, yo. This you weekend, y'all have a good time. We'll be back Monday. Actually, Monday, three p.m. to four p.m. and then Tuesday through Thursday, six p.m. to seven p.m. Pacific Standard Time, and then back up on Friday, three to p.m. four p.m. Make sure y'all check it out. Make sure that, you know what, I am starting to feel like no justice, no peace. It's time for us to make sure that we don't keep getting smacked on the other side of our face. Get out there and be active. And motherfuckers, I swear to God, I hear so many people saying vote don't mean shit. Let's at least, just as a symbol, vote this orange cunt stick out. Even if it, you say, oh, shit ain't going to change that much. Absolutely, it will change. Vote him out just to see the look on his bitch ass face. You lost by millions, you cunty orange bitch. I want to see him cry. I want to see his hairpiece fall off. I want to see him with his little tiny <laughs> T Rex hands just start trying to touch his little fucking orange face and just cry. Fuck him. Yeah, y'all. That's Savage what I want. Stay, stay safe this weekend. Do something to relax and relieve this tension. Because, uh, you know, I'm not suggesting anybody go out cracker hunting uh, this weekend, but, you know. Stay safe, y'all. Stay safe. Stay safe, y'all. We'll see you Monday, 3 p.m. to 4 p.m. We out. That's what it is. We out. Savage AF. And we all will, we all will see you there. Ha, your Kung Fu is not better than mine. Come here. Goodbye.